I fixed the booster course pass by HD Rookie. I've seen the first couple minutes of this. I'm not gonna lie. This guy definitely sounds like he knows what he's talking about. At the very end, are we gonna enjoy his booster course pass or the booster course pass we got? Let's have a look. But before we do that, guys, hey. Like the video. He's got more subscribers than me, which means you should subscribe to me instead. Finally time to talk about... Code Circuit! That's right. I know why you clicked on the video. That thumbnail already sold you. You want to listen to me stand up at the podium and say out loud, Code Circuit is bad. And then you want to cheer when your opinion's validated. Partially. Partially correct. I'm a bit more of an intellectual, but you're not wrong. Let's talk about Nintendo's perspective. It's always very easy to be a critic because most critics don't actually have to back their takes up. Oh, I mean, send this to Creepy Pro. Yo, actually true. Oh my God. It's not enough to just say, I think there's too many Wii tracks. They should show what they would do differently. Guys, actually, I like him already. The notifications are on, but actual facts. Blood is cooking up a storm. Yes, true. I hate it when people do that as well. You go, oh, I hate this. Explain to me why. EXPLAIN! Use your words! You speak in English! This will not be a top 48 tracks that were in tour list. That's unrealistic to make, and Nintendo adhered to some rules. All the tour cities will be included, for instance, because that was a huge purpose of the Booster Pass to begin with. See, that's and why- that's what made this video interesting for me to watch. He's not just gonna do, Oh, put the best tracks in the Booster Court. He's gonna, like, use the restrictions that Nintendo had, but, like, change it up. Do you know what I mean? Do you see why this is interesting now? He's gonna cook. Let's see and what he's got. I admit, got. when I considered the full scope of Nintendo's goals with this DLC, I gotta admit, they did a really outstanding job of the balance. Mm. Obviously, <laughs> R slash Mario. You guys were telling me that R slash Mario got fucking sucks, and uh, you guys went wrong. Okay, I, I visited this place for a little bit. This place does fucking suck. Echo Chamber, stand. literally the worst kind of like, bro. Echo Chamber is a fucking boring. Bro. If if my chat became an echo chamber, I'd fucking not stream anymore. <laughs> I, I like seeing other opinions. It depends on how you phrase it, though. Phrasing is very important, but different opinions are very fun. Very fun. Their last game. Putting Toad Circuit in Deluxe should keep it out of the next game. So even if you think that it's the worst course ever, it might as well come back now in a game where it is buried by 95 other track options. I don't know if I agree with that, because now Toad Circuit's entire legacy is it was just a shit wave one track. Do you get what I mean? Like, at least with Luigi Raceway, they serve a purpose of easing people in, right? Toad Circuit could have done that in Mario Kart 9. Toad Circuit could have been like the Shell Cup retro that everyone could have started with. So I think Toad Circuit would have been way better as like the starting track in the Shell Cup in Mario Kart. Everyone would have much appreciated that in that game. And then instead in here, we could have a Shy Guy Bazaar or fucking Warriors Galleon or woohoo loop. I don't necessarily agree with this. I don't necessarily agree with this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's cover some ground rules. I want to see Wario's Shipyard or I'm disliking and unsubscribing. So only courses in Mario Kart Tour are eligible. I'll be including all 14 tour cities. I may switch the order, but we'll get to that. I will be including one tour original course per wave as well. And like in reality, I'll be leaving Pipeline out due to it being the new track that is- All right, HD rookie. You know, it was fun. <laughs> I am keeping Paris Promenade right I think Paris Promenade was genuinely like an excellent showcase into what Tor can do. I really do think so. My second track is going to be GBA Riverside Park. Three waves earlier than where we actually got Riverside, it. Riverside? Huh? So the question is, if Toad, if you've removed Toad Circuit, what happens to Toad Circuit? I'm curious. Next up is GC and Daisy Cruiser, an entire four waves earlier than where Daisy we Cruiser, got it. Daisy huh? Cruiser, This course seems like a great fit in wave one as a shorter, simpler course with really good theming. I think it's popular enough to create some additional excitement beyond the wave high. Lights. Okay, all Rounding right. Rounding out my first cup is going to be Ninja Hideaway. In my opinion, had to be. Save the wave. So what are we thinking so far? Again, if you're not going to have Toad Circuit here, where is Toad Circuit going to be? This is this is a good cup though. I like this. Again, cup two is going to look very familiar. Tokyo Blur will be starting it off again. So Got to get rid of it, of course, of course. Well it. Next is also still going to remain the Yeshroom Ridge. Has to stay. Personally, Has to stay. It gave me jokes. Moving over from the first cup is N64 Chaco Mountain. It's kind of yeah, it kind of had to. It was either this or what, like fucking Wario Stadium. <laughs> Coconut Mall. I actually found it vital as a Wave 1 track. Coconut Mall was a very popular and memorable track from their best-selling Mario Kart game. And outside of Tour, there had not been any new tracks released in the series for like seven years. The Booster Pass were released just a year after the whole You Just Got Coconut Mauled meme spread across the internet would have been. Oh, God. 
thanks for aging me like seven years, HC Rookie. I appreciate that, brother. So overall, we're just shifting these around, which I mean, these are good changes because it, it gets wave one to start on a stronger note. So do you know what? So far, so far, I'm buying out. I'm, I'm buying what you're selling, Mr. HD Rookie. I'm buying what you're selling. But the question is, what happens with these two tracks? And if one, if they go, then what happens after that? I think he said that Toad Serga is going to stay in it, but what happens to Sky Gone? Is Sky going to go? So everyone feeling happy so far? I'm good. Great. I'm good. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's time to trigger you because oh. I put Toad Circuit in wave two. Oh, you know, I know. Why'd you do that? No. In HD, wave two? Bro, brother. If you want to kick Toad Circuit out of the booster pass, that's fine. But please realize that by doing this, you're just kicking the can down the road. Yes. And even Crab Man agrees with me. Even the Crab Man. Funny Crab Man agrees with me. So I must, I must be correct. But yeah, like you deny Toad Circuit the chance to be the starting retro. But to be honest, if you asked me if Toad Circuit wasn't here and we had to have a starting retro, I'd obviously going for GCN Luigi Circuit. But I think Toad Circuit can still hold on that slot just fine, right? So I am putting 3DS Toad Circuit second in place of SNES Mario Circuit 3. SNES MC3 is gone now. I don't think anyone's going to cry for that, except the creepy produce, obviously. See, you know what? If he brings up Mario Circle 4, this is my guy. This is my ninja. I'm inviting him to the cookout. This reasoning is pretty much the same as mine. I'm just going to steal it, which is, it's, it was already been remade once. The remake here didn't really add any, do anything substantial. Calling it not a waste of a slot, but an undeserved slot, I think is accurate. The mm. only thing I request is that we make it look a little prettier. <laughs> anyway, though, Wave 2 now has the weak link of my booster pass now. So in my mind, it would probably be the ideal time to provide a a massive upgrade over the wave one cities and by placing sydney sprint as our first course of the wave i think we can do just that and another way to do that is by also moving wee mushroom gorge over to this cup to sandwich toad circuit between it and sydney i had some serious debate on getting rid of gorge but I cannot deny that it does provide a unique quality in how it plays. I Get rid of Gorge. Would you have put in Gorge's put Toad Factory? I, I guess he probably would have put Toad Factory in there, isn't it? That's probably not in Torn either, so I don't think he could do that. So it needs to be here since I'm not putting it in Wave 1 since Coconut Mall was a track that had to be there in my mind. Rounding out the first cup, I have Sky High Sunday. It feels tasteful in the spot, I suppose. So I'm reluctantly allowing it to stay, even though kind of in my heart, I want to have Pipeline instead. We love Sky cup High Sunday. Who is going to throw a small curveball to start. I'm adding Berlin by ways is the second sit. One might Hell consider yeah. next I'm moving GBA Boo Lake up a wave. I really did like it spot in wave three, but spoiler alert, I'm adding another kind of spooky track into wave three that I felt would be similar in theming. Ooh, I hey, what are you cooking? What are you cook cooking, Mr. Rookie Man? Mm. In 64, Calamari Desert will be staying in wave two. I think the train track alternate route was actually good for the track. Yeah, too, it was. So that can stay. Rounding out wave two is still going to be DS Waluigi Pinball. I think this speaks for itself, really. So yeah, you moved Moon, uh, New York Minute, completely got rid of <laughs> Mario Circuit to get it to put Toad Circuit back in and moved Boo Lake up. So I'm guessing what, Snowland? All right, so for wave three, I think it's finally time to get a little bit crazy. Uh, I remember wave three. So who is it that said he better not mess up wave three? It's the best wave. Kid named wave four. Hello. A nighttime party for our end of year wave here. After all, the clocks just fell back. So now it's dark at 4 p.m. Might as well celebrate as such. Starting things off, we finally have New York Minute. Later in the year, felt like the best fit to me, as the Times Square vibe around New Year seems pretty cool. Being have to get rid of it, obviously. For the second slot, we have SNES Bowser Castle 3. Oh! My up this... This soon? For me? Is that a SNES Bowser Castle 3? Are you happy to see me? It's going to be interesting to see what he does with Wave 6. Because as far as I'm concerned, the only reason Wave 6 isn't like the worst wave ever made is because of BC3 and We Remember Road. Because as far as I'm concerned, he's done a very good job so far of making sure Wave 1 starts on an overall higher quality. But I think it's important how you start and it's important how you finish. I think even he said as much. So by moving Bowser Castle 3, it's such an insanely good quality track. Yeah, you got some. You got. I'm interested. I'm curious now. You've kept me hooked for the rest of the video. I'll say that much. While Luigi Stadium was originally moved out of Wave Three, and I'm moving it back in. Game also, so far this cup is looking incredibly stacked, ignoring the obligatory tour course, of course. Although I mean, he is gonna. I, I don't think this is gonna be Rock Rock Mountain. If so, this would be a weirdly imbalanced cup. Rock Rock should have been like second, and then if that makes sense, I don't think Rock Rock's gonna be. So he's, he's gonna ruin Rock Rock being in the Rock Cup. So you know what, HD rookie, I might just turn off notifications for that, brother. Course, you're, you're right. Christmas guys, Christmas. It's the whole. <laughs> This might be the worst cup ever made. Because as far as I'm concerned, you start with a shit track and you end with a shit track. At the very least, right, if you're going to play a cup, you at least want the first track to be good and the last track to be good, right? You at least want it to start and finish really strongly. You've got like two of the best tracks ever made in this whole fucking BCP sandwiched in between mid and mid. Oh, you're going to call it the fire cup now? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, your shoddy editing won't work with me, Mr. Hurricane Man. For the second cup, I really wanted to have... Mm, so far, this wave... 
So for the Mary Mountain follow-up, I'm actually going to be going with Singapore Speedway, another nighttime track that just looks spectacular okay. and colorful. He, he might have saved way through with this. He think might have. more than fitting for the final cup of the first round. Next comes 3DS Wario Shipyard. Hey! Uh, it is Wario Shipyard. Hey! Might, yeah, you know what? You know what, rookie? You were losing me, but you might have just won me back. I might be buying your booster course boss. I might be. Let's see how, let's see if you can keep cooking. This is a course that I find very under appreciated and quite frankly absolutely dice on this is one of the very few tracks where when someone says it's underrated i think you are using the word correctly i think over time it's losing its underrated though because i think more people are realizing it's actually good but this is one of the very few tracks you can say it's underrated and you genuinely mean that word because for, for the longest time no one ever talked about this track with both n64 wario stadium and gcn wario coliseum both looking to be likely for the next game in the series i feel like this is the perfect spot to let wario shipyard perhaps cut in line true now why wasn't bowser castle three in slot three. Well, it's because we're adding DS Airship Fortress. Someone cooked here. Remember now, Wave 3 isn't our final level or cup. It's a midpoint, and perhaps an oh airship Lord. level is more fitting oh than a my castle. Lord. This track, in my mind, was easily the biggest snub of the entire Booster Course Pass. It really has it all in my eye. Do you know what? You are cooking. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna make it very clear, guys. He is cooking. I'm gonna be a bit, bit of a bitch, though. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, I'm gonna be a little bit of a bitch, okay? Think, think about this, think about this for a second, okay? If Airship Fortress comes back here, we get the orange skybox. Whereas if it comes back in 9, we might get the purple skybox. Does that, does that change anything? Does that change anything? And in this case, that's going to be Wee Rainbow Road. Since I put a oh my god, brother, okay. All right, rookie, 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 rookie. Hang on, hold up, hold up. This is the best cup ever made. What's the catch? What's the catch? Rookie? Rookie? What's, What's the, the catch? catch? This means, how are you going to level this out, brother? Because as far as I'm concerned, right, one thing I think the Booster Course Pass did all right, Wave 4 was insanely good quality. Wave 5 wasn't the same, I think it was good enough, though. And the Wave 6, again, but a reasonable step down. It wasn't like, boom, like this, right? It was just kind of like, eh. Mm, you know, I was okay with that. I was okay with that. This way three's out here, bro. What's gonna happen? I personally like 3DS Rainbow Road being in three and then we being in six. I'm gonna be honest. I see, mm, I see we're coming back down to reality now, guys. See that? We Rainbow Road, I have to give credit for just being the most fantastic final course to end the entire booster course pass on. 3DS Rainbow Road is good. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. I don't know if it holds that same that same podium though. I don't know. So yeah, that's wave three for me. Evaluating the changes here is like comparing wave three to a custom new wave. It's like a whole yeah, it really is a whole new wave, isn't it? His wave three is phenomenal. How is he gonna bring us down back to reality? I don't know if he can. I think it's gonna be a crash landing instead of a smooth one. The wave is going to remain completely identical to how it originally was, with one exception. And that's because Riverside Park is now in my wave one, so a spot opened up, and I'm going to possibly controversially fill the spot with GCN Mushroom Bridge. GCN Mushroom bridge you know so the question was always going to be if there should even be a fourth GCN course. Why I ultimately decided in favor here comes down to a variety of factors. Mm -hmm. First Explain. off, this was an MKDS Retro, which was the one game with retro tracks where online play wasn't really fleshed out, so much so that we couldn't even play this course online. First cup of Wave 4, you know, we've come back down from reality. If I, if I looked at the new Wave 4 trailer and I saw this, Amsterdam, Mushroom Bridge, DK, Summer, Yoshi, I'm still all right. I'm still okay. I'm still okay with this. What about the other cup, though? I'm worried about the other cup. Very worried about the other cup. Uh, there's the, there's like so many tour cities having like another city based track especially when you already have moonview highway as well don't know if it is going to do good enough job to stand out i'm okay with mushroom bridge drink here but i'm just like what does blood do do you know what i mean like it's a bit like so yeah there's going to be a few replacements needed for mm, guys this is this is where we find out again hd rookie you've got the unenviable job bringing me back down to earth after the amazing wave three the first cup is all right does the second cup do the job and london loop will wait no longer mm -hmm. It's a fine enough course. It's a Torsi. We, we expected this. We expected this. Okay, Torsi. As an earlier tour track, I don't think I could justify holding it off for much longer than this. Next, I have DS Mario Circuit. And yes, this is a fine selection, guys. Look, we have to have some circuits, and this is by far the better Mario Circuit of the Booster Pass in my eyes. I don't now, know, but I, you're not wrong, Rookie. But again, I'm living off that crazy high, brother. You gotta bring me back down to Earth. I've crash landed, brother. I've crash landed. I'm dead. People who hit on sense. DS Mario Circuit are cowards. Cowards! It's just bland, okay? It's bland. It's boring. It's like having a mac and cheese when a beef wellington is right there. You know? Only the first track in the game, Figure 8 Circuit, as well as Bowser's Castle and Rainbow Road, remain. Mm. 
And I think putting Mario Circuit back in that mix might make for a weird future scenario. You're not wrong. His argumentation makes sense. I think if any DS track had to come back, I think it kind of had to be Mario Circuit. If we're going by the no DS retro that has already existed can come, if that makes sense. Like, we're going by those rules. It's like, what, figure eight, Mario Circuit, Bowser Castle, Rainbow Road. You're not doing Rainbow Road. You're probably not doing Bowser Castle, in the, at least in this game. So that's figure eight, Circuit, Mario Circuit. So, like, it had to come back. So I'm like, you know what, fair. You're not wrong. Your argumentation isn't wrong. But I'm thinking, after I've been up here, do you know? I've had a beef Wellington. You know what I'm saying? You give me mac and cheese. It's perfectly serviceable. The next course is going to be 3DS Shy Guy Bazaar. Huh? I'm happy to see it back, but wave four? I actually would have included this track in wave one, but felt that a bazaar and mall in back to back spots would be a little conflicting. Brother, I don't know. You're losing me. You're losing me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. You're kind of losing me. I guess having two like marketplaces, I guess, would kind of be a bit weird. I, you know, again, not technically wrong. Not technically wrong. Do you know what? Do you know what it'd be like? Is if is it's, it's as if you had a cup that had cheap, cheap island and Toad Harbor. Those are both like very sunny, very vibrant tracks. But one's like a beach track with like a different set of hazards with like the cheap cheaps and stuff. And you have Toad Harbor that has like the tram line, you know what I mean? So even though like they're both kind of like, I guess you could call them like sunny or vibrant sunny based tracks, they both kind of fit different things. The same with Coconut Mall and Shy Guy Bazaar. They're both marketplaces, I suppose, but I think they do enough different, you know? Closing out the wave, I'm going with LA Laps. I think it was actually supposed to be in wave four, so that's kind of cool. Bros, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. My worries have come true. We were flying so high with wave three. If I see this cup in my wave four track, I'm like, huh? Shy Guy Bazaar is the only saving. This is not going to lie, guys. We kind of crashed. So when thinking about wave four, personally, this is the first wave that I feel I have downgraded from the original. Uh, well, I'll say. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I think we've gone back to even Stevens. You still haven't won me over. You've come back. You've come back to reality. Do you know what I mean? So your wave five and six have to be like better. I mm. think perhaps the perception at large would see this wave as the weakest of the four so far, but not in the it's bad way, but rather in the it's filler. Yeah, but like again, I think you'd rather like I think wave four was a good wave to peak. Do you know what I mean? I I think the best wave to peak would have been like five, because then at least six is like the grand finale. So even if the six isn't as good, like say six is a step down, you get the joy of like being the final wave. So Everyone's going to be high for the big finale, do you know what I mean? So it kind of earns a few points more because of it, especially with Wii Rainbow Road being in the finale. Peaking at three, though? Ah, oh, brother, I'm not with you. I'm not with you, brother. Moving on to wave five. I'm starting it off with Realm of Vanti. <laughs> Afternoon Night Track 2 is probably going to get some haters because it makes me... Like... <laughs> it's going to get some... Hang on. And this track is going to be N64 Kuba Troopa Beach. Curious. This may be a little bit of a strange pick here, but it, it is. satisfies a lot of unchecked condition. Considering the abundance of snow courses in the DLC and the lack of beach track, this felt like the more fitting pick than Frappe Snowland. Just to clarify, right? Cheap Cheap Island is in Tor, right? Because I want to say, why not Cheap Cheap Island? But I don't know if it's not in Tor. Do you get what I mean? I know he said it's because two N64 reps seemed a bit too low. My argument to that is, fuck N64. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice, but I'm just like... Again? We had this in 7, but we had this in 7. The reason why I didn't consider Mario Raceway was similar to the conversation we had with Mario Circuit 3 earlier, but also because my third track is going to be GBA Luigi Circuit. The Guys. I think I might be siding with Nintendo on this one. Like, okay, just to clarify, yeah, I like GBA Luigi Circuit. Wave 5, though? Wave 5? Another circuit track when we already had a DS bar. Do you go in? It shares the music with GBA Mario Circuit, and that, would, that th definitely wouldn't fit here. I think a new remix would probably fit a little better. Squeaky clean sprint will stay where it is, and that's because, frankly, there's no other place it should be. All the tour originals we talked about earlier just felt like they were in the right place, and by default, that was- Squeaky clean doing a lot of hard carrying here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this poor track. This poor track. He fumbled wave five. It's, again, it's because he peaked too early. Like, for me, like, if we're talking like the BCP, it went like wave one, wave two, a substantial jump, wave three, wave four, then wave five, wave six. Do you know what I mean? I think the only big jump was wave one to wave two. That was like kind of a bit more of a substantial jump, I would say. But like with this, it's just like, you start off on a higher bar, you get better, then you go all the way up here, and then it's like, ugh. we've crashed. We've definitely crashed. Cup two, I'm going to start off with Bangkok Rush. Like Rome, this is more of a filler pick. Again, it has to, it has to be Rome. I'm not judging him for uh, tour Bangkok Rush because it has to be there, so. Grid will be the last track of the cup and madrid obviously yeah. i had to debate a little on what i wanted to do for slot two again you kind of put yourself in another situation where like okay at the beginning and pretty good at the end like are you gonna sandwich two good tracks between like again like are we gonna do that are we gonna do a mid sandwich again when i talked about multiple tracks i would have preferred over peach gardens earlier this is one of the ones i was alluding to but i felt there was a decent amount of spooky tracks in the booster pass 
A Twisted Mansion also draws a lot of similarities. Peach Gardens, on the other hand, felt like a slightly better fit, okay, okay. despite it not being my preferred option. Uh, he, he said it's not, he actually misspoke. He meant to say it is his preferred option because he loves Peach Gardens. We all love Peach Gardens. We're getting rid of the reverse route on lap three. Excuse me? I really don't like the gigantic shortcut being at the end of races, especially when it's fast to take firm with me, saying it kind of puts the first with some really awkward stuff. What have you done? Mr. Rookie. What have you done? That reverse path is fantastic. I don't know about this fucking shortcut you're talking about. You didn't show me. You didn't see your video. You show me. I didn't know. I don't know. This. Do you guys know this shortcut he's talking about? Just show me why it's bad. You can high five Luigi. I don't get it. <laughs> There's a flower patch now near the end of the races since it goes in reverse. Is that what he's talking about? Is that what he's talking about? Oh, HD rookie. We flew so high, bro. Oh, no. It's a recession. It's a credit crunch. Oh no, we've, it's Brexit again, isn't it? Oh no. His line of thinking is, it puts the first person in an odd spot because it means that they could just get their lead stolen by a shortcut that's probably doing a bit more than it probably should. To which my reasoning is, hey, that makes the end of the game more thrilling. And while the thrills are something I live for, I can definitely understand someone like HD Rookie who's far better at the game than I am. Coming at it from an entirely different angle. I still think shortcuts like this are very thrilling and having them is good for the game, at least in some tracks. Too much of them would take away the skill factor, but having them in a couple of tracks like Peach Gardens, Cheese Land to name a few, I think it's good for the game overall. I promise you it's not just me like hating everything new and weird that they do. No, I, I don't believe, I don't believe that. You're not clearly produ, so you're fine. I don't believe you hate it because it's new. I think you hate, again, your reasons are valid. See, that's why this video is fun, isn't it? His reasons for like keeping it normal was valid i just wholeheartedly disagree do you know believe it or not i'm adding we dry dry ruins next the one we track and tour that didn't make it into the actual booster the, if the kitchen was burning you've now got a fire extinguisher to it and you're and you're like trying to serve up a fl trying to flambe something again all right you know what i mean dry ruins will effectively be replacing sunset wilds as the wave by the desert way so it's 7 50 p.m miles is dead let's go you know our rookies you know what we are so back. We are so back. Nintendo's probably still winning by a little bit. I'd rather Nintendo's BCP by a tiny bit. So if your wave six can, which again, because it's 3DS, I don't know if you can, but you're, you've, you're winning me back a little, I'll say that. I think Nintendo's winning by a couple of points so far, I would say. He has the chance though. Without the two big hitters of wave six though, he's got quite the task. Let's, let's find out. I'm, I'm gonna stop stalling. Let's keep going. The one big exception was the removal of Moonview Highway. No Moonview Highway neither. Vancouver and Athens, so that's a plus. No SC... No SNES, BC3, or Wii Rainbow Road. No Moonview Highway neither. And we're guaranteed to have Piranha Plant Cove. I'm telling you, it, the cards are stacked against you, brother. But I'm, I'm still all ears. I'm still all ears. Athens Dash, in my yep. mind, is a very appropriate final wave course due to its uniqueness compared to the other cities. I think it would be the best contrast for Vancouver, the track starting off my final. We all know that 3DS Rainbow Road is the closer based on what I said yeah, in Wave obviously. 3, so I'm not going to play it out any longer. The other cup finale, though, will be traveling with it from Wave 3, and that's Wii Maple Tree Wave. This is another course that returned to its original. So life. far, one of the best tour tracks, one of the best remakes. What's in the middle? What is in the middle of our sandwich here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's not to say I'm cutting DK Mountain either. It's You're not? Come right before it. There's a large part of me okay, that wanted okay. to play Dino Dino Jungle here instead. Yeah, you should have. There are two reasons I've decided not to. Lay on me. First off, DK Mountain is a fan favorite. I just... I don't disagree. It is a fan favorite, but it just, I just don't think it works. You're not wrong. It is a fan. It's again, he's not wrong. I was excited. You should see my reaction. I was excited for DK Mountain, but playing it in reality, it could have used the Mario Kart 9 treatment, you know? Unfortunately, I do have one kind of lame pick but I feel like it's one of those puzzle pieces I couldn't ignore. What could it possibly be? What could he possibly put? Is it going to be Vanilla Lake? It's got to be Vanilla Lake, Lake, right? So I guess we got to roll with Vanilla Lake too. No Disclaimer, way. I think this track sucks, but I also thought that BC3 used to suck too. My hope is that they could transform it into something worth playing here. Really? Possible? It's... And I know it's obviously easier with the benefit of hindsight, but I've always been a big proponent of SNES BC2. I suppose, like, the only thing I can give him praise for this is that technically, if Vanilla Lake's here, it's not going to be in a future game. So that, that, is, that is a W, but, like, as a finale wave, when Vanilla Lake 2, that's a hard sell, brother. That's a hard, hard sell. I could see me and maybe like my, I fixed the booster course pass. Maybe including Vanilla Lake 2. Maybe. I could see me maybe doing that. Not on wave six though. Wave six? Wave six? I think it fits as the second track of a final wave. It's not a walk in the park, but simpler in design. Not the sexiest pick for sure, but an understandable one. Starting with back-to-back -to -back tours. Uh, yeah, again, you start with a pretty good track, end with a banger. What have you got in the middle for me? Just it's going to be Piranha Plant Cove. It has to be. <laughs> that. So I'll be placing Atlantis Dive in slot yeah. two. 
All jokes aside, Piranha oh Plant Cove really is a weird track. Now I assume some of you have figured it out already because there is a reason I didn't put Cove as the penultimate track. And there's a reason why I placed BC3 back in Wave 3. Why is that? And that's of course because my penultimate track will be GBA Bowser Castle 4. Enough should be said already, but as always, the main reasoning, BC3 alone was not enough to create a reasonable amount of Bowser Castle levels in a game with 96 courses in my mind. I guess this means that Wave 6 isn't so dependent on two tracks now, because you've got, you got Athens Dash, which I'd consider good, Maple Tree, which I'd also consider good, and then you have 3DS Rainbow Road, which speaks for itself, Vancouver, which is kind of good. So I guess, technically, technically, the ending, I would say, of this Wave 6 is better than two track heavy Wave 6 that we actually got. I do think that our actual Wave 6 did a fine job of clothes in the past, but I can't help but feel that We Rainbow Road was doing a lot of the heavy lifting in that regard. It was. As evidenced by the course ID leaks, I think Vancouver and Athens were the ones that they wanted in Wave 6, but the timing of their tour releases forced them to redo the order. I do think you ended fantastically. The question is, where do you peak? Do you peak at Wave 4 or do you peak at Wave 3? If you ask me, I think Wave 4 is better. If I'm being honest, I would say ideally the way each wave just gets better and better and better. Ideally, so I think the later you peak, the better it is. And I think the absolute fantasticness of this fucking wave here, right? And then just how uh, this one here, it just fucked with all of us. And then you got wave five here, which is just kind, of, which is just look at it, look at this wave, bro. Just look at this, just look at this wave. Fuck my life, brother. Like it's not bad, but I'm just like Madrid is pretty okay. Luigi's is pretty okay. Madrid is pretty okay. Rome is just. Like, I think wave one starts better, and I think wave six ends better. I personally, personally, I think he did, definitely did a fantastic job, Rookie. I, I, think, I think it's fair to say, right, guys? I, I don't think we're knocking his video, because I think it's well presented. Most of your points were presented quite well. I think there was a couple of them where I'm just, I wish he showed me a bit better. But I think overall, I think this video is presented fantastically. Just about, though, I think I would prefer... Nintendo's BCP. Just about. You did a good job, though. You did a, good, you did a, a better job than I, I thought most people would have, if I'm being honest. Did a, much, a fantastic job. And I think he, it's, yeah, he definitely deserves plaudits for that. But I would say, it's like Brexit vote, do you know what I mean? Like, I would say 52 to 48, I would say, you know? Like, it's very, very close, but I think I prefer Nintendo's. I just about that. But if, if this was our reality, I'd be okay with it. Do you know what I mean? I'd be okay with it. But well, I'm okay with the reality we have now, you know? I'm okay with the reality we have now, to be honest. Um, what, what do you guys think? Let's get some takes from the chat. Um, keep the cities where they are, but swap the uh, worst of wave three and six, and you have a perfect BCP. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, honestly. Can we just like wholesale just swap these two waves? We did. I, I wonder how, it, bro. <laughs> that'd be kind of cool, actually. Uh, it was a good attempt and proof that making this project is a lot harder than we figured. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's why, like, when someone said you should do my own one, right off the rip, I knew this was this is a hard project to do. So I have to give him his flowers for that. You should all subscribe to him. Subscribe. Starting off, we have the SNES track swap. I felt getting rid of MC3 was critical as a rather bland SNES course that was already remade, and going through all of our SNES track templates. A vanilla lake felt like the only viable option. VL2 is essentially taking Snowland's place as the 2D icy course, which in turn freed up another GBA slot, which I filled with BC4. I uh, suppose you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but would you make this trade, guys? I think I would make this trade, though. I would trade Snowland and MC3 for Bowser Castle and Moodle. Like, I would trade that. In the end, we <laughs> I would make that trade. A... Would you make this trade offer? Not this time. Even though it's definitely Cooper Cope instead of Cooper Cape. <laughs> I did, wouldn't make this trade off, that's for sure. Uh, rock, rock, and loads of rise. Of okay, this is just this is just like the straight upgrade, isn't it? <laughs> this is like the best trade off I've ever seen. I would think that you were scamming me with this trade off. Speaking of which, the whole wave five swap gets a little bit messy since I changed my mind on what track would replace Sunset One. When you're looking at just the straight swaps, do you know what I mean? Like his track selection really is a lot better. It's just I think the ordering is a bit like you know what I mean, like, like Dragon Ruins, Luigi Circuit, Edge of Fortress. What do I sign? I feel like if you aren't going to do the skybox for it, you might as well save it for a game where you sure. will. But the lighting engine, guys, the lighting engine, the light. I'm mad. Oh, what's a This is Nintendo. You telling me they can't figure out a skybox? Unreal. Unreal simpery. Disgusting. To break it down, I'm including the same 20 tour courses, including two SNES tracks, 364, 4 GBA, 4 GCN, 5 DS, 6 Wii, and 4 3DS tracks. Wii is still overrepresented. Look at that. Look at that, you Wii guys. Oh, Nintendo Wii's the Shut up. GBA needs more love. We need more. We need every GBA track. Every single one of them. Dino Dino Jungle was the impulsive pick for me I wish I could have had. I already ran a poll for this one, and the community was clear. They wanted DK Mountain. Your community is wrong. They're wrong. They're all wrong, rookie. My community is correct. So let me know what you all think. Definitely a good attempt. A fantastic attempt. I'm glad I watched this video. But as I said, I think just about though, just about for peaking a bit too hard at wave three instead of four and crash landing harder in the next wave, harder than Nintendo did. I would say 
as a whole, as an offering, spread over two years offering, I would prefer Nintendo's. Although if I'm going straight by track selection, obviously yours wins because <laughs> you actually know what you're talking about. Although again, with your Toad Circuit point, I do fundamentally disagree. As the Crab Man does, obviously. So we're both correct. But, uh, yeah, good video. Fantastic video. Seriously. Hey, guys, seriously, go, go, go fucking... Like, go subscribe to HD Rookie. That was a good video. That was a good attempt at fixing the BCP. Did it win you over? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want more Mario Kart related reaction videos, take your pick, gamers. Crab man, weed fella. You can't go particularly wrong with either. And until next time, there's your lot.